This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So Microsoft Power BI downloads, download option. Okay, once you click on download option, it will redirect to Microsoft Store. Once it redirects to this, click on this get button, let the file download and click on next button and it will download and install on your machine. Once that is done, and for the license of Power BI, you need not worry much for practicing it is free until unless you publish into this in, this into a workspace and you want to share with other colleagues of yours you need to pay license to microsoft so it is specific to country and for indian rupee it is 830 rupees and us dollar it will be around 110 dollar or something for premium license you need to pay 1600 which would be around 20 dollar in us and uh, so if you ask me what is the difference between Pro and premium the workspace that they provide to us to publish the reports in pro license you will get a 10 gb workspace in premium license you get a 100 gb workspace and the number of refresh for uh, pro license would be eight and uh, number of uh, refresh for premium license would be 48 times i will tell you what is refresh and all you need not bother and what is size also we will discuss okay <clears throat> right so once that is installed how to open power bi is you are able to see my screen right when i click on start button tell me that are you able to see that or are you guys able to see my start button when i click on it yeah yes you need to yes. search for power bi desktop okay like this once you search for this click on this button Okay. Once you click on this button, it will pop up a window on your screen. It will ask you to get data or recent resources, new update available, all this it will show. Okay. Now, if you have a license, you can click on get started. You can enter your uh, email ID and password, and then you can try to do your information. But right now I did not license for it. I can click, click on cancel and still do my work until unless I want to share or publish this. Okay. <clears throat> this is power bi desktop okay you have a top ribbon over here which will give you multiple options like home insert modeling view optimize help okay and we will go through everything slowly and on the left side you have something called report view and you have table view <clears throat> and you have model view okay now on the right hand side if you see there is a filters pane okay here it is written filters and you have a visualization pane beside that and you have something called as data pane okay i haven't imported any data into my power bi yet okay so that's why this is plain for importing data into power bi we have multiple options and multiple data sources we can import data into any questions until now anyone has any questions no 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 i'm right. good no. right now thank you so now to get data as i told you there are multiple options but on the home if you see under home button there is some option called get data okay once you click on get data if you see there is a cylindrical shape as well as an excel shape okay now you click on this get data button you see the most common used across the globe what are the data sets that everyone is using excel workbook power bi data sets data flows data work sql server analysis text csv like that many data sets are there but if you click on more it will give you an organized view like what all data sets you can import into power bi from where all you can import if you see excel workbook is the top most and text or csv file xml file json file folder from a folder you can select multiple files together pdf file perk file sharepoint folder so if you see there will be multiple data sets okay we will start with excel or csv today you click on a file option it will show you what all file options it will allow you to import 
you click on database option it will show you what all databases you can import to postgresql my mysql database terra terra data sap ana so you can connect to multiple data sets in your office like if you are using snowflake you can click click on this and give the credentials for it and it will automatically connect to that and you can write sql queries if you want to and there is this is something microsoft fabric which is new recently launched eight months back you can connect to the lake of microsoft fabric and pull the data sets also and power platform azure if you are connecting to azure azure again is of microsoft and you can connect to this azure cloud or databases pull the information okay now this is too much of information right so i will like to import a particular set of files into my power bi to do the first report okay so what i have done i have created under pbi folder you can also do the similar for practice create one folder and under that you keep particular set of files which i am going to provide to you and this files if you see these are csv files okay if i open this files let for any data analyst or any visualization expert understanding data what is lying within data what columns do i have what all can i prepare with my data set is the most important thing if you don't understand data you cannot prepare visualizations okay you are at a junior level you have a data might be your uh, manager or your senior will tell you okay this data this columns are there i want to see sale per order sale per quantity and i want to see total sale value i want to see sales after discount they might suggest you what is the formula and everything but the more experience you become it depends on you and it become it be, it becomes like an individual contributor role where you need to understand data and you have to work on data set and prepare more meaningful insights on the visualization now let me open one of the file okay <clears throat> this was of uh, the recent uh, world cup which was played between all the countries t20 world cup okay if you see here not the world t20 t50 okay if you see here the first match was played between england and new zealand if you see this is 23 24 season england versus new zealand it was played on 5th of october 2023 and the match number was one obviously it was played at narendra modi stadium it was played in the city of ahmedabad new zealand has won the toss i'll go through one one particular row so that you can understand the data set what is present in this matches file and then new zealand won the toss and they chose to field okay after playing the match end of end of the match rachin ravindra was the man of the match from new zealand side okay then who were the empires in this match is like dharmasena nitin minan and reserve empire was this guy and if you see match Srinath uh, was match referee and match was won obviously by new zealand because rachin ravindra was a player of the match and then they batted second because they chose to field they won by number of wickets that is nine wickets okay this is a group stage match any anyone who doesn't understand cricket completely and did not understand this particular first row of data i can repeat again you can tell me what is group here group is uh, so the match will be played in two sets madam first will be group matches and then the semi-final and the final matches if you see here you see first initial league matches will be called as group matches like one team will play with each other all the all the nine teams will play suppose you take india only i will let me filter india if you see india india will play matches with other teams in group stages first and once it plays in group stages once it qualifies basing on the number of points it will progress to semi-final and from semi-final whoever wins in the semi-final it they will progress to final so first initial stages is called group matches then semi-final match then the final match understood yeah okay right so this is the data set that is present in my matches now points table
So right. So in this entire tournament, India has won maximum matches, but unfortunately we lost the final to Australia. So India, they have played nine matches in the groups, and then they have won all the nine matches. For winning, they will allocate two points. So nine to the eight, and then if you see South Africa was standing second, seven seven to the fourteen, and India has India had a better run rate because they were scoring at a better rate and they were win, winning at a better rate, and they, even while batting second, they were winning with more wickets. So you can ignore the concept of for and against for now. So the run rate, if you see, this all is provided to us right away in the data set. We are having which team is ranking first. How many matches they have won? How many matches they have played in total? How many matches they have won? How many matches they have lost? Is there any tie match? Is there any row? no result? Or how many points in total they have gathered? If you see, if you read for Afghanistan, it is like they played nine matches, they won four matches, they lost five matches, and in total four to the eight points they have got. Okay, and the run rate. This is very simple data set. And then the next one I will open. Right. So, if you see here, in this data set, we will have every ball detail. Like, I, as I told you some time back, if I go to my matches, first match was played between England and New Zealand on 5th of October. Okay, at Narendra Modi Stadium. Now, I come back to my deliveries file. Match 1, 5th of October, Narendra Modi Stadium. Match was played between England and New Zealand. Okay. Now, innings. First ball. First, which, whichever teams bat first, that is called as first innings. And second team batting would be second innings. Okay. First ball, England was batting, New Zealand was bowling. Bairstow was the batsman. And David Mullan was the non-striker. And Trent Bolt was the bowler. He bowled a ball wherein Bairstow did not even score any run. It was zero runs. And if you see on the second ball, okay, point two ball, Bairstow scored a six against Trent Bolt. If you see runs of batter six. And if you see again here, fifth ball, Bairstow scored a four against Trent Bolt. Okay. And similar way, not only runs, you will have to look at wickets also. Okay. I will click on wickets. Suppose bold. Okay. In the first match itself, England versus New Zealand, Mohamed Ali was the striker. Glenn Phillips was the bowler. So Glenn Phillips bowled Mohamed Ali by hitting the wickets. So obviously he will not have any runs against his name and he was out by bold. Okay. Same 41.1 over. Joe Root got dismissed by Glenn Phillips again in the form of bold. Any questions in understanding this data set? Understanding data sets is important. Once we get this data, we will take it into Power BI and join it over there. Any questions until now? On the three files that I have explained, how it reads? Anyone? Any questions? Okay. okay. Please increase the font. Okay. You will have an option to zoom as well, madam, on the uh, go to meeting. Now, is it comfortable for you, Sirisha? Did you understand? Okay. Sam as well. You can uh, zoom it in the power uh, go to meetings, but if you, you can tell me, you can uh, might be I will not be able to come to the chat screen. You can just tell me orally in that case if there is any problem. Okay, now all these three files are present in this location for me. How to get these files? These are CSV files. So, file CSV. Okay, let me come from beginning. Get data more file csv connect
Okay, I want to import points table file. You need to navigate your folder. One second. So it is on my desktop. PBA tutorial, 6th March 2024. Today's date. Points table. Click on it and click on open. Okay, your data set will be looking like this. You can click on load or transform data. For the moment, I will click on load. Okay, the moment I imported the file, if you guys have noticed previously in the data, there was nothing sitting over here. Now, if you see the points table file got imported here. Okay, and the columns, if you see the columns, which are their ranking, team, matches, one, lost, all the columns will get imported directly in Power BI. Right. Now I'll import one more file and show you. If you don't understand, you tell me. Get data, more, file, CSV, connect, matches, open. Okay, again, it will ask, you can see the preview of the file. Okay, this is what my file looks like. You can click on load or transform data. I'll click load again. Now you see one more data set also got imported. If you open and see matches file. Okay. Season team one, team two, season team one, team two, date, match number, all these columns got imported. Any questions how to import? Any one of you? Okay. No. Uh, can, can you please repeat, Abhishek? Uh, I will show you third file. One so, for, Get data. You. So now, sir, your file is sitting here. If someone don't know what is the file type, generally you will notice in your Windows only what is the file type. Or you can do right click, you can do properties, and you will get to know what type of file it is. Okay, CSV or XLSX, all those things. Now. Click on your get data more. You can go to file text or CSV connect deliveries file. Click on this, click on open. Okay, it will show you a preview of the data set. You can load or transform data. I will load for now. Okay, your data set will be loaded. Now you see all the three files are loaded. I don't know who asked the question, but did you understand, sir? Yes, I did. Thank you, Abhishek. Okay. Right. So now all the Hi. three files. Uh, yeah, one more question. Uh, is it the hmm. same procedure for uh, if we get the data from SQL server or some other no. data? No, server? madam. So what you need to do, go into your this. What is your SQL uh, server? You can go to database. Is it Oracle, MySQL server or Postgres? Okay. You know. So My whichever story. database. Okay. Yeah. So what you need to do, click on this, click on connect. Then it, this query connector requires one or more additional component. Be installed, it can be used. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to install a plugin. Suppose MySQL server, Power BI plugin. Okay. Okay. Generally, ODBC will be there. So this is the ODBC. You just need to open run as an administrator. Okay. You need okay. to install MySQL server ODBC driver. Okay. Once you install that, what you need to do? In Power BI, you need to go like this, like data, get data, more, database, MySQL server, connect. Instead of this error, once you install the ODBC, it will not ask you this. It will ask you for username and password. So what will happen when you are connecting in your office? No, generally, might be you will open it in a browser or you will directly open My, MySQL server. But when you have installed the first time, you would have used a username and password or you would have add an SSID and your credential login. 
you have to pass that okay once you pass that it will connect you to the database okay did you understand yeah yeah okay so for that generally you can google the information and you can get it you see like this it will ask you server okay. database and then you can pass the whatever the link that they have provided or the username password okay okay then it will look similar to excel file like see once you connect that it will look very similar to what we are seeing like this whichever the table you just need to write select star suppose the table name is world cup deliveries and then automatically it will start looking like this okay yeah. did you understand madam yes yes okay yes. right will, might be will i there have be any... go ahead go ahead ask me uh so when we importing will there be any chance of failure because of any data or uh, any other Fail, failure chance will not be there sir your credential should be correct that's it okay and see you can't import a billion records it will crash so the more re refinement you have to do in your sql query like what is the amount of data set suppose you are filtering all products like you wrote select star from some entire fact table like you wrote uh, select star from customer details might be if your company is like a huge company then it will crash you they will have all the transactional data over there but you should filter okay specific product only suppose your company sells uh, desk uh, your company sells uh, pens your company sells pen set also you should choose okay select star from so and so where my item is equal to pen where my item is equal to pencil like that you should refine your data set then power bi will also be able to do it easily like millions also it will handle the more the more data set like you are trying to get a 50 million or 60 million data set at a single point in time it will crash did i answer your question yeah got it so i will try to connect to postgres connect okay one second Just give me a moment. Okay, this is my process. Whoever have joined for database, I mean the data analyst course, you will go through this. So now my server is Postgres equal uh, 16. Okay. And everything, see, if you are having any doubt, Microsoft uh, Power BI forum only will give you answers majority of the times. So if you see here, someone is having some doubt it failed like you asked me no is authentication issue if you see is the credentials are incorrect okay let me get to that i'm just looking for the credential one minute Launched the system the parameter host username post report 5432. Mm, okay, I want the server. Just give me a moment. Server details, master. I just want mm. 
Bollywood in that. Username, password. See, I my host an error happened while reading the data from that. Retry. I am unable to get my server detail. Just give me a moment. I'll show you this. Give me some time. We will continue with the file. I just lost my server detail. Okay. But end of the day, did you guys understand? Like we can import from the database. You just need to give the server details, username and password. You guys understood? Any questions on that? Okay. All right. So now this is your Power BI we imported all the three files here okay once we import all the three files you need to verify whether your files got imported properly or not so on the left hand side i told you this is report view there is a plan blank page wherein you can create multiple visualizations right now i'm not going to do that yet first i will verify my files so on the top you will have a floppy disk icon you can click on that and save your file or you can click on file button save as browse from this device in the folder where i'm having the files only i will save it like suppose okay um, world cup 23 2024-0306 this is my file name whatever the file name you just need to name it according to your convenience and whatever the file that we are going to save for power bi it will be dot pbix click on save okay once you click on save this file will be saved if you see last saved at 8 3 am on the left hand side below your report view you will have something called table view okay on the table view right first one is deliveries file okay i am already highlighting deliveries file and you are seeing a sample amount of data set here okay now go to your deliveries file and see match id season start date venue innings ball if you see similar way match id season start venue innings ball so it is showing me the correct data set fine i will close my deliveries file now click on matches file okay in matches file season team one team two date match number if you see season team one team two date match number venue okay this is also matching i will close this right and third point is my points table file 
So point stable file also you just verify ranking team matches one lost tie no result points. Okay, this is matching. Close. So all my three data sets are loaded. This is table R view. Okay. Now the third option you have is model view, right? So in this model view, if you see here, there is already a mapping made from point stable file to matches file automatically power bi when you load the files it will read all the files and it will check for the common columns and it will do the mapping on its own so if you click on this if you see the file mapping is moving from point stable file to batches file if you see the arrow here you see a small arrow which is going from point stable file to matches file any questions if if you notice it is moving from here to here we will understand what is one to one mapping we will understand what is cross filter direction we will understand what is cardinality everything we will learn but for now right the moment when i imported the file it is connecting already from point stable file to matches file basing on the team column okay but here world cup deliveries file is not mapped with any of these two okay if you see in this world cup deliveries file there is a column called venue okay and here also if you see there is a column called venue but this column and this column are not mapped together any any guess why is it so i'll open both the files we should understand why then when there is a common column between this file to this file now these are tables once these are imported into power bi this venue is not matching to this venue why there is no join okay what we should do no primary do? key no madam primary key is already existing no venue is there with venue okay column right. name is also matching okay. world cup matches you need to open your file and see look at the data when it is a table you should open your table and look at the table i'll show you one minute Now, okay. These two files I opened: deliveries and matches. Okay, I am having a common column called venue here. Even in the other file also, I am having a common column called venue. I have highlighted in yellow. Now, can you tell me what is the difference between these two columns? Why these are these are not matching? You have I answered think... almost correct. Yeah, go ahead. The the it has two values, but it has only one value in each row, right? The venue no, when no. you name and uh, I mean city also there, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. correct. You are yes. correct. Here, what has happened? There is extra data set. Like correct. for every row, Narendra Modi Stadium, Ahmedabad, it is written. So let me filter. You see, Arun Jaitley Stadium, Delhi. If I filter the same thing in this file. You see Arun Jaitley Stadium. So the data set is having extra data set in this file. So what will happen? Power BI when it read these two columns, it understood. Okay, my common column is venue. I can make a join. But what happened once it went and tried to join the data sets? Oh, it understood. These two are not same because for a system it is all zeros and ones. And it will read the data set and it will not understand what is Narendra Modi Stadium and what is Narendra Modi Stadium Ahmedabad. It will assume these two values are different, right? So it can't make a join. So for that sake, what you need to do, you should modify your data set. Okay. Ahmedabad should go into the next column. How you can do that is, okay. Any questions until here? Any questions on these two files? Why they are not joining? How did you do the map? How did you go to the mapping? Oh. Good question, madam. So here, report view, table view, model view. On the model view, team is already joined with team, and matches table is not joining with delivery table. Okay. I scrolled through, and I checked. Okay, venue is present here. Venue is present here. Why they are not joining? So I opened my Excel sheets. i kept it beside and i noticed 
so these two values are not matching okay understood good now what you need to do i told you when your column should be split okay what you can do on the top you have something called transform data okay click on this button okay now go to your delivery table right this is where i am holding narendra modi stadium ahmedabad i want it as narendra modi stadium separate column ahmedabad as separate column so my data should be split to by comma okay so what you can do select this particular column okay this is called as power query editor okay let me open that again and show you transform data it will open a new window power query editor window okay now what is my file you will see all the three files that we have imported world cup deliveries file okay and in the world cup deliveries file click on venue on the top you are seeing split column okay you should click on this split by delimiter yes i want to split by comma okay in default power bi is holding space no i don't want space i want comma okay each occurrence of delimiter yes go ahead you can ignore code character right now click on okay so you see my column has got split into two now venue 1 venue 2 narendra modi stadium and ahmedabad i have got separated any questions how i have done it okay now if you see here i will remove this i will do one more time right now i am holding only three applied steps here first one is from where i got the source my source is from so and so location okay then power bi has the automatically promoted the headings if you see when i imported headings is in the first row power bi automatically promoted my header row into first like this innings and then automatically it will detect the data type okay match id is a number column season even though it is having 2023 by 2024 all these are numbers but once the moment you have a slash it will read this as a string type date is a date type so like that automatically on the top it will map the data types okay this is all done by power bi no problem for you now what i want to do this column if you see only three steps are there i want to split this column by delimiter instead of a space a comma click on okay the moment i do that you see one two more steps got added split by column by delimiter and then change it type this will okay this is holding a text type this is holding a text type or a string so text is a string now you see whatever step you perform in power bi when you go within power query editor it will add steps to you so it is easy for you like 10 days down the line also you open this file and you see you will understand what steps you have applied any questions have you guys understood okay now once this is done my motive of narendra modi stadium and ahmedabad is separate now what i will do i instead of this venue 1 venue 2 i want to rename venue 1 i will rename to venue okay on the venue 2 i want to rename to city you see one more step got added renamed columns okay if you see here venue 1 is renamed to venue when you to is renamed to city okay whatever steps you perform all the steps will be added here in sequential order okay now my motive of separating these two is done on the top you will have close and apply click on this close and apply okay now that is done automatically if power bi could not map it will not map again so what you need to do when you you should drag it from here to here so now it will open a window when you if you see delivery table when you 
I am mapping with World Cup matches table venue. Cardinality and cross filter direction we will learn in detail. We, I have to teach you about joins for that. For right now, you ignore these two. Okay. 99% of the time this will be correct, but I will teach you how what is join, what is ref join, right join, outer join, full outer join, everything will be taught to you. So when you is mapping with when you click on OK. Now the join is made. Any questions? So it doesn't care the case sensitive, right? I mean... No, it won't okay. care. But you should be always cautious, sir. Uh, right now the situation if someone would have thought okay venue is there here also there also why it is not joining until unless you look at your data set you won't understand why it is not joining a small small space at in the center also would ruin your join so you should clean your data set first and then look whether the data is matching both the sites okay so always 70% uh, of the time i would say goes in your data cleaning and once the data is clean, uh, visualizations can be brilliant. Okay. So let me answer. The field that. name should be same then. then. Yes. Right. Uh, okay. Field name wouldn't be that important. If you see, sir, these two tables, mm -hmm. Power BI could make a join on its own. But the field names are not same. Team and team one. Correct. Correct. It will read through the entire data set. It will understand. It is intelligent than us, if you ask me. The, mm -hmm. the moment you load the data set, it will read all the columns. Okay, which column is holding what data? Can I map team, team one? Yes, it will go see. It is matching. So it will make a join. But here it failed. When you, when you won, when you, when you, the data set, data itself is different. Like Narendra Modi, Narendra Modi Ahmedabad. It doesn't match. So it could not make a join. Okay. Any questions? So if in the WC deliveries, if I rename something other also, it would, uh, it will map. Yes, it, right? it oh. will map. Oh. Column name okay. is not that important, but your data should be more uh, similar. You can see here right away. This is its Power BI's own join team and team one could match. So will it scan through a whole data? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Yeah, it will scan yeah, through. It will scan. It will scan through all the data. Okay. That's why. That's why you import a billion records. It will fail. It can't do such operation. No. Okay. So then, what is the limit actually? I have pushed this onto until thirty-two million also. Wow. Oh, it works. <laughs> I. You can go to fifty million also. It will work okay the more the more data set you want to push okay now let me save this sir let me show you something because you have asked me this question the power bi size is 193 kb okay the one that i play in practical scenario in my office is around right now 800 mb wow. okay you understand right now this file what we have imported this world cup deliveries it is around 30,000 lines only 30,000, it is 200 KB. That's it. I play around 32 million right now. It is hundred already 800 MB. If I cross 1 GB, Power BI file, this 1 GB, mm -hmm. I need to pay a premium license. Oh, I need to buy okay. a premium license. Premium license for individual person is 1600. As I told you, it is 1600 for a premium license for individual person. But if I need to publish this and you suppose need to view my report, you should also hold a premium license. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so both of us, we need to pay 1600 instead of 830. Okay. Now there is one more challenge. If all of us who are joining in this session right now, I, I think somewhere around nine, 10 people are there. All 10 people want to see this. All 10 should have hold a premium license. Okay. Instead of that, you can buy a premium workspace, which is $3,000 per month. You understand the difference, how they play the game? $3,000 per month is too much. Premium workspace will give you no, for, if I hold a premium workspace, I publish my Power BI. You don't need a premium license then. You can see without a premium license also. All of you can see without a premium license. Understood? Yes. 
but the amount of money that we need to spend is a different ball game three thousand dollar is too much okay now let's get back to report view i showed you table view model view report view let's go to report view we will put a simple visualization okay visualization is very simple sir table suppose i want to see a table i want to create a points table okay team matches played like uh, matches won lost points net run rate okay it's just a simple thing you go here i am just selecting the columns tick button check button automatically the columns are coming here okay i will just make it a big little zoom in okay now what i did i will do one more time i will drop all this i will remove this table you need to click, click on visualizations table button this is coming here already click on your visualization go to your table team how many matches they have won how many matches they have played how many matches they have lost how many points they have got what is the run rate okay now all the details are coming up if you see under visualization all the columns that i have selected on the right hand side under data are visible visual visually we are able to see under the columns suppose i intentionally did a, a mistake here matches i want it in the second place instead of one so you go move this on to second like hold this move it now you see team matches one lost points net run rate any questions all the columns that you select here will be seen here and then this is the table rb any questions so you can build your visualizations here suppose you want a graphical view okay click on any particular graph suppose i want to take clustered column chart okay team one where is one one lost okay okay right now if you see both the one actually india is one if you see india is here india is one in this table nine nine matches it has played nine matches it has won but if you see it is showing count so in default when you bring a column it is showing count okay you should aggregate it to sum one second i will do that you see now india has played nine matches lost zero matches they have won all the nine matches anyone did not understand any of the two visualizations please ask me any questions okay so now suppose in this table only i just want to modify a little i don't want alternate rows as gray cells i want to remove that click on your visualization this is selected go to your format to your visual okay now you can open all of this and you can search but i told you a hint alternate rows i don't want gray color you can type in alternate okay alternate background color already it is selected to gray i don't want that click it make it white now you see it is all white i want to put a border across the table all the left hand side bottom right hand side everything should be border so i will type border okay top bottom left right all are bordered now okay and in between lines also i want to make it a little like a demarcation after every line so you can say grid horizontal line already it is gray color so i will increase the width a little now you see a bolder lines are coming up you see bolder lines are coming up 
okay now i will make it to vertically also i want lines in this table enable this vertical grid lines width to any questions so generally sir uh, when you click on this visualization under format your visual you will be able to see all the things like grid vertical line everything you can open this and you can do the task okay you can search for whatever you want to and then you can apply it but generally once you are familiar with it instead of searching everything you can go here search alternate border and then suppose grid lines and everything you can automatically modify according to your like liking understood you will you will see a lot of visualizations you need not worry about this if you guys are worried about this it's very simple go ahead ask me someone was asking the question uh, can we export this back to excel no you can copy and uh, take a screenshot and put it in excel but your purpose from moving from an excel to power bi is okay. power bi is super form of excel okay got it can we change Any the questions? color of the graph uh, graph as well <laughs> yes madam yes yes that okay. all can be done okay right now click on this good question format your visualization okay columns no you are already having blue and uh, violet color suppose you want uh, some lighter shade of blue and here instead of violet you wanted gold okay whichever and we can do conditional formatting also that we will do because uh, let me show you that we will do everything in tomorrow's session mm, one second let me open that for you this whatever we are doing currently there is a lot more to work on and we will do a lot more let me open this you will get an idea what you were asking about see like this we will have multiple charts we are drawing and if you see in the points table like this is holding a different color for a positive value different color for a negative value and the number cards multi row cards then map and tables at the bottom and then if you see player statistics also pie chart bar chart and again multiple charts if uh, yesterday i was discussing with one more student uh, they instead of this chart they wanted a 100% stack chart so we were seeing like suppose just with bumra like if i am coach of australia if you see indian players like mohammad shami and jasprit bumra balled really well in the last tournament if you see jasprit bumra he is he is bowling in his wickets 30 35% of the time he is making the batsman bold so i will be cautious and telling my batsman play straight to the ground so that you don't hit the ball to the wickets and you will not lose by a bold option and if you see mohammad shami 50 60% of the time he is getting to swing the ball either side so he will get caught out so i'll be telling my batsman you should be cautious leave the ball outside of the off stump don't drive too much and if you see adam zampa 57% of the time the batsmen are getting caught so i will tell you should be cautious and 9% of the time he is getting i think stumped so i will tell my batsman don't go and hit him on front foot he will spin the ball or googly he will do so all this see this is all insights from the data set it is not readily available on our excel but the more you understand your data set you will draw insights okay so we will do all this all this whatever you are seeing we will go over there if you get any idea we can do that also how to get the tool tip tool tip sir it is here okay on the right side if you see data labels it is called one second just select your visualization data labels are available here automatically it will come up i see okay. and if you type tip also you see oh. the advantage if you are i think you are coming from tableau 
coming uh, if you are coming from tableau tableau you need to do everything like you need to add a tool tip you need to add everything but power bi you know it is very good with visualization automatically it will give you everything Bro. you need to just enable whatever you want okay let me stop here we will connect again tomorrow any questions you can ask me any point in time no problem on that anyone else uh, i see sam has asked question sam did i answer your question generally it's very difficult to come to the chat if you could orally ask me or you can ask me tomorrow also i don't have any problem yeah okay let's wait for tomorrow but i was looking at the graph you know when you started it oh, okay. it was all it was all um, having the same height but how do you change it oh, okay count and sum i got it i will show yeah. you just okay no problem when i just added these two columns okay yeah. one mm -hmm. and lost okay this has gone into legend and small multiples but i want it in x axis and y axis only i will move everything to one and lost okay now okay. the aggregation is india has played nine matches in total so if you see one and one it is showing it is showing in count okay i need to change the aggregation of my column you need to click on this downward arrow and you should click on sum okay and similar way for lost also we will understand what is aggregation and all you need not worry about it you see now it has modified okay i see now that's how you need to do yeah okay we will meet tomorrow we'll further progress on the data set we'll understand more thank you for joining thank you all bye bye thank you very much bye thank you thank you